Hey, what is up YouTube? I'm your host, Steamtown Gamer, and today we're rocking Tomb Raider. Now, this is the third episode, I believe. Uh, we made it to the, you know, the blue signal here that the co-pilot of the airplane that crashed down here uh, left behind. Now, um, I don't know how far away he is, and I don't even know, I can't remember if the pilot is aware that he is or is not in danger. Uh, we're just gonna go and check, let's see. I feel like I missed a couple of things over here. Oh, there's his chute. I was looking for his chute and I could not for the life of me figure out where it's gone. But no, he actually landed. He would have hit that, obviously dropped the flares right there and carried on foot. Now, I have a feeling that he's injured. It has been some time since I played it. I bought this game at full price when it had came out and I played it, loved it. Put it down, never touch it again. I didn't 100% complete it, or even come close to 100% completing it. I just focus on the main storyline. Oh, you can't like that statue. Okay. Hey, Lara. Roth told us about the plane. Don't worry, there's got to be another way off this rock, right? I hope so. Any sign of Sam? Yeah, we tracked her to some old Japanese palace. I don't like the sound of that. Hey, don't worry. She's probably just, uh, sightseeing. You're a terrible liar, Alex. You have to be careful in there. Good luck. So I've mentioned this in my previous episodes. Uh, the game has a huge free roam component to it, and we haven't even begun to unlock it yet. We're about 24% complete of the game. But basically you get stuck, or at least locked into the... Um, main storyline until the group manages to regroup and you've got everyone together. Then you can free roam throughout the island as much as you want. Uh, it will happen shortly after finding this pilot, if I remember. Campsite. Lose some ramp. Okay, we've got a skill point. That's going to come in handy. I can't do that now. Can't do anything with that area just yet. Can't do anything there. This is the only one we can up, uh, unlock at the moment. Right, and captures to find extra salvage. All right, so we can find extra salvage. That's pretty, that's pretty sweet. Let's move on, shall we? She did that automatically. I didn't tell her to light the torch. That's a food cache. Oh, once again, uh, really old architecture, probably from the actual dawn of the Fire Queen. Yep, definitely Dawn of the Fire Queen. These ruins predate the Kofun period. I've said it before and I'll say it again, the Queen... Oh, this is showing the ritual, I think. Maybe? The Queen, she, like, puts her soul into a vessel. Oh, and by vessel, I mean another person. Either of bloodline or maybe just chosen. I'm not too sure what happens when she chooses a new soul. But I do know that the story behind it is that the Fire Queen was about to put her soul into a new um, host. But she didn't want to do it. She didn't want to. And she took her own life. She committed suicide, slid a wrist or something. As a result, the queen had no body to put her soul into, and something went wrong. Now, Pilgrimage. obviously, she is still conscious. She is still awake to some extent because, you know, you know, she's controlling the island. The queen, Himiko. Jessup? 
That would be the pilot. Oh my god! For a child, you've caused me a great deal of trouble. But you're just as naive and predictable. Kill her! <laughs> So I've mentioned many times that something wipes out the bad guys, uh, not the bad guys, the original inhabitants. People crash land, they make colonies, they make uh, civilizations, and then get mysteriously wiped out. Well, that is what's causing it. Obviously, uh, they seem to be somewhat organic, uh, somewhat human, I should say, and they've been basically just doing this, slaughtering anyone after a period of time now i don't know why exactly they decided to attack right then and there it's um it's very unlikely that it's just a coincidence they just happened to be there i think they were causing too much noise too much commotion near the ruins uh it may actually have something to do with the fact that they actually found another vessel for the um fire queen What's which is um, um laura lara's friend sam who is was taken by them because she is in fact the next create uh next person in line they haven't figured that out yet that is potentially why they attacked but um oh this place is disgusting just gore it's just nothing but gore oh hear him so whether he's human or not, I don't think he is. He seems to be mutated or changed some way. Probably a general or at least a heavy created by the fire queen. My controller is just vibrating like it's pulsing. Boom, 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 like a heartbeat. So I believe in this situation, the bad guys, they were attacked because they were making too much noise, too much commotion near the original relics of the Fire Queen. Not like other relics like we've seen where I suspect they have been um, created by other inhabitants also worshipping the Fire Queen. I um, expected they were just uh, the original, original ones and they were making too much noise. I mean, they blew up the bridge. That's going to get your attention. Oh, we're going to try. Into a pile of bones. The smell would have to be so rancid, I couldn't even explain it. Check it out. This is, this body seems to be a lot newer uh, compared to me. I mean like, it's not a skeleton, it's been mummified to some extent, but not a skeleton. These are soldiers from World War II, that's what these are. This was probably the remaining soldiers on the island, and this is where they all ended up, impaled on them and fight for shit. Yeah, that's what happened to them. Because every now and then, they just show up and they just wipe out any inhabitants on the island. I don't know if, it, if it's periodical or probably a combination of periodical or just doing it uh, out of sheer commotion, but I, I would imagine that the World War II people would bring about a lot of commotion. 
I would have to say that it's periodical unless you start fucking around with the original um, with the original uh, architecture and the tombs that are higher up in the mountain. That's what I think. And this guy's been here since like 30 years. This guy's been here for like 30 years or something. So uh, they would probably do a they would probably do it every dec uh, couple of decades or something like that. I'd imagine. And who are these? I'm not getting in any indication as to who these were. One has a... No, they're still World War II veterans. So they're obviously not veterans because they're dead. Uh, they're all skeletons because of the exposed elements. I don't know, different elements and different things. Look way more bodies here. That's all it is, just piles of bodies. Oh, hang on. I mean, I just love to study the, uh, the architecture and the design of these tombs. It's really cool, really fascinating to me. I hate tombs. <sighs> I hate tombs. A sun queen and a storm god. Himiko, the first Sun Queen. This is Yamatai. So oh, he's actually found a tomb. And you're really here. <coughs> and really, really dead. It's transferring power. This is an ascension ritual. It's how you chose your successor. Oh no. So that opened up the game quite a bit. Now we're going to have to fight our way. Oh ho. -ho. This is a one shot Johnny. Sweet. But her skeleton is there, so that's not her. It was probably one of her older selves. This could explain the different ages between them. So yeah, this is probably one of her uh, older bodies, or possibly even the original body that she had, and then obviously she's been transferring her soul into other people. I believe that they get she how they discover someone is the rightful heir is they literally have to set them on fire. And if the wind if like winds or fate just stops them from burning, they are the chosen. Hey, what the hell's going on down there? that thing uh, 
I didn't really know it would do that until like the last second. It's like all I have to do is pull on this bell. Obviously, we can pull on the bell, so that's what we're gonna do. I didn't actually know it would do exactly that. Hence why my aim was a little off. She must be very confused at the moment. Uh, I mean, she set out to look for the uh, fire queen, or the sun queen, I should say, and uh, she found it. But she can't enjoy herself because, you know, the shit has hit the fan. Skill points. Uh, Oh, we've now got melee. That's going to come in handy. Oh yeah, that's going to come in handy. But what I really want and what we really need is the flaming arrows. Now, we won't get that until a bit later in the game. I don't think you can unlock it at the campfire. It's something that you have to sort of be put in the situation to unlock, and which means that we can't enter certain areas of the island because at some point you will need that in some of the adventures and then we will get screwed. My shotgun should do the trick. What if she had like wasted it and That was crazy. Boards just go away, and that just set off this whole chain of reaction where the whole place is just coming down. Climb up here, yes. Back inside the temple of Gorman. Forget it. We need to break up. She's here. Hey, woman, don't shoot. It's no good. Take her out. Good for old steam down. Came in through there. The way I out think. of here was right below them. Aha, here we go. This is what we're looking for. Oh shit. Headshot. Holy crap. 
I mean, you just saw, I wasn't aiming for that in the slightest. So we open that, that blows that over the there, maybe? Open both. This might be just enough to you know, lower it. Oh. The whole place is breaking, look. Do it. Okay, yes, yeah, shotgun, okay. Figured out what we have to do. Obviously, we have to do this on an angle and smack it into the window. Which means I probably shouldn't have activated both. That bell should do it.
Let's try this again. I know it's taking a lot longer than what it used to, but I want to get really happy with this one as well. Too, Sam. Is the rest of the crew with you? No, I just managed to steal this radio off a guard. A guard? I've been kidnapped. What? Where are you? I don't know. Some old Japanese palace. They keep talking about a, a fire ritual. Laura, I'm fucking terrified. Shit, someone's coming. I've got eyes. Sam? Sam! A ritual. Like the mural in Himiko's tomb. Roth, are you there? I'm heading towards the palace. The others are being held there too. I'll catch up to you when we can go in together. So we've got to rescue people now. Uh, let's take a look at the map. Can we look at take a look at the map? Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can. Lara Croft, okay. So, uh, GPS coordinates, GPS cache, relic. I'll see if I can fast travel. See if we can fast travel.
Nope, cannot fast travel. Sorry, I keep trying to zoom out. Oh, damn. So we missed a document. And then this place leads to this place and we've left behind a relic and we've left behind a GPS cache. Oh, boom. No skill points to upgrade the weapon themselves. Uh, let's see. Like Unlikely that we're going to do it. Sounds they made almost inhuman. Put the shotgun. Shit. Uh, nothing for the shotgun. It's like so the assault the rifle. Nothing for the assault rifle. Civilization. Okay, now I really feel like that. All I know is they killed those men, and I have a feeling they wouldn't hesitate to kill me too. But I can't think about this now. Sam's in trouble, and I've got to get her back. She's counting on me. So we couldn't do Jack shit. Uh, we've got two paths by the look of it. I think there's a statue, yeah, that is a statue that we can light over there. Fire it. So I don't think we can really explore the island until we're done with a lot of the storyline, and that means unlocking the, uh, the arrows. The, the uh, flame arrows. Half the statues are done. I thought that uh, going to the water would mean dead, but it turns out it does not. Going down that water will probably mean dead. Take a look at where we are. We went back the way we came. Uh, once again, we've got more people here. So they either recruit the strong or they kill them. And they will probably recruit the, uh, what they've lost. You know, since Lara, uh, Lara's been killing anyone she sees on site, uh, it's a good idea to, they'll be doing a lot of recruiting after all this. So we've got to go down there. Uh, that looks like a temple, maybe? I don't know what the blue uh, triangle thing is. Nope, but that is something valuable. What have we got? Just some salvage. This looks like it's a little bit more advanced. What are you? Okay, so now we're going to head straight towards the, um, oh, that straight forward, but we're going to head down now. I really, really would like to know what that flash, uh, flashing blue thing is, but I just don't know what it is. I don't know what it 
it is, I don't know where it is, but I know that my intent to get there uh, will be pointless. Point. Need help. Oh, oh shit. At this point, I've been also watching art games in the end as well. Uh, so the leader on the final episode, which I will not be able to see because I will be in China. Oh, and I died. That did suck, it really, really did. Let's try this again. That statue stayed lit, so that is good. I'll have to climb back up there because I fell into the water like a dummy now. Do I go up the stream? Yeah, I did. I really was hoping it could lead somewhere, but I don't think it does. I mean, it looks like it leads somewhere. What the fuck is that noise? Chose one for the test. Well, maybe she's the one. We might finally get off this rock. Don't get excited. It always ends the same way. Some poor girl burns, then it's business as usual. Man. Screaming in pain. So they were just talking about how they're going to do the fire ritual on this other girl, and they've said they've done it many times before, and it has always ended uh, in failure, obviously. Some poor girl burns, and then they move on. But, you know, kind of a spoiler alert here. She is, uh, Sam was telling the truth, she is a descendant of the Fire Queen. She will, she is basically the Chosen. So we're just going to go ahead and continue uh, to find Sam. Now I couldn't really hear where she is, but a friend who I've already forgotten his name and keep remembering him, keep forgetting his name, um, we've got to meet up with him and he knows where everyone is basically uh, been taken. You know, I remember him coming here, but I couldn't get in here. Yes, yes, I remember this place. This is where the plane crashed. We couldn't get in here, and guess what? Now we I said that too, it's like, we can get in here, but I don't know how. And then I just walked oh away. That was close. Are you there? I'm here, Sam. Are you okay? What did he want with me, Laura? A fire ritual? This is so fucked up. Listen, I'm coming to get you. I'm going to get you out of there. Please, please help me, Laura. I promise. I promise, Sam. Hey! Oh no! Sam! <gasps> Sam! Help me, Sam! Please, Sam! You got no. to stay away! No! Fuck. 
she is just freaking the fuck out. Look at this thing. So if you're wondering what is happening with her, uh, I can easily explain. They're taking her to another temple, one of the old um, Sun Queen temples that was probably one of the original ones and easily abandoned to tend to everyone else. It seems to be a really, really old one. And that is where they've been conducting the fire rituals, uh, basically finding girls. I don't know why they didn't take Lara. I do not know why they didn't take her. Um, maybe they intended to. I, I don't know. Um, but anyway, they're taking girl, uh, women to these places and then sort of, you know, doing the fire test, which is basically setting up on fire, just like ancient witch, uh, witch times where they would get uh, bound and then a big fire would be set around them. And then if something were to happen, like they didn't burn, they would be, they're obviously the next Sun Queen. And that's the case with Sam. Uh, they basically try to set her alight and they cannot do it. We didn't have to shoot our way through. I'm at a loss here. Uh, I know where to go, obviously, um, back there. But I was just hoping that we could enter the village and blow open a couple doors, hopefully finding some more shit, but turns out we can't get more shit. I did die. I did done die, didn't I? So we'll probably go ahead and move on to the next big event of some kind. Uh, hopefully we'll find something of decent interest. Things are getting a bit boring, a bit repetitive now. So we're going to move on. So all this was on fire when we were, when we arrived and obviously it's gone down. Check it out. Blue. Does that mean temple? But I remember coming here and I remember finding that temple. I think it just tells you where it is, but I don't think it tells you uh, if you've already done it or not, because we did it. It's like it's already done and dusted. I don't know why we would need to go back. Maybe the game just doesn't tell you if you've completed it or not. It just tells you that there are there is a temple. So we had to bust through this door, then she went around and turned here. Okay, so let's continue on with the game, shall we? The ammunition suggests that we are going to encounter a large amount of enemies. Not seeing any down there. Oh, the hell was that? I don't know. This would be the know. enemies that we're going to encounter. Well, hey there. The tank's full. Dog. <laughs> We could have shot the lantern, we could have shot uh, We should have done this. And that would have killed them all in one hit. 
but it was still pretty fun to blow it up anyway. Stay alert. We'll check it out. Come on, something's up. Pretty sure this is one of those um, sliding um, sessions where we have to slide down and avoid obstacles and I fucking love those. I wish there was more of them and I wish they went on for so much longer because they're just really, really fun. Uh, let's try this. Now this doesn't look like it was purposely made. This looks like it's just stuff that is full of um, seeing a yeah, this is from another plane that takes tracks. This is probably another one. Uh, if you recall, we saw components to a, se uh, the, to a second plane that has crashed uh, a long time ago, and this is probably the remnant of that. And we see multiple colors, yeah. There's multiple planes. This is seems to be a... Uh, this is better. This seems to be some kind of easy surveying route, and of course, different planes have different masses, and when they get hit by the storm, they fly, uh, they can go a bit further, and that's what's happened in this case. Uh, it seems that they've been crash landing in this general area because we're seeing at least two planes here a green one above us, and a rusted white one down here. And I'm pretty sure this is another sliding scene. so gruesome oh man that was so dark oh shit ah uh, I didn't even see it coming neither so that was pretty messed up uh, let's do this shit again oh actual propeller that still spinning actually kind of hard to see where I'm going that's the whole idea, but I can barely see jack shit. This reminds me of Jurassic Park. And then not only do we fall, but that plane falls behind us, and once again we have to try to avoid it. Her lip was quivering. That was so bad. She's like, <laughs> that was a really big branch too. That wasn't just a subtle thing. That would have completely obliterated her organs. Everything would have been. It. It should have even technically been more gruesome than that, where her um, organs would have been like falling out.
All she does is fall and tumble. Every organ, every bone should be destroyed in her body at this point in time. But she just keeps soldiering on. Now this is, I believe, the shanty town. She's actually close to her target. If you recall, she's still in pain from the um, arrow. So that is the temple at the top. Uh, this, and they've built... This is going to become kind of main temple, at least that's on the ground. And they've built an entire shanty town around it uh, from just, you know, scrap material found throughout the island. Now, uh, I'm going to explain why she's holding onto her side. Uh, she was hit by an arrow. Like, it just sliced her. It didn't actually go through it. It was a uh, flesh wound. But it did do some damage. And obviously, it's starting to be a bit of a hassle. It started to become infected. Uh, she needs medical treatment. She needs stitches. She needs uh, antibiotics and painkillers. Two at which she has none at the moment. But she is going to find some in the shanty to back, basically patch herself up. Shanty town. Yeah, I kind of figured that would happen. That helicopter, although damaged, um, it's unlikely that would have they would have dragged the entire helicopter here just to like leave it as is and not go through it for supplies, which that's what Lara Croft is doing. Uh, she wants to go through that uh, helicopter to get some supplies. The smell. Basically, you know, I mean, she's crawling around in swamp water while holding a gaping hole on her body. That is really, really fucking bad. Where is the old man? I don't know what you're talking about. Wait. You are lying. I know you. look tied up with your left down Please. Here. I don't. I need to lose them your time. I don't know why they're jumping into the fight. Oh, dear God. I don't really know what that was about, but they stripped him of all his clothes. Uh, he was obviously just tied up. You can see something around his wrist. This? Nope, I guess not. I just imagined it. Now, this should put us out close by the helicopter. There. No, it doesn't. We are slightly closer. Now, we can't really fight. Because of the girl, they were trying to rescue her. What was that? I'll go look around. I don't think I've got attention yet, so we're just going to go straight in. Oh, come on. Because I had killed everyone, they didn't uh, come and get me. They're like really setting a message of power and being too crazy. Is this some sort of site where they performed a public execution? Perhaps people who failed or didn't, who went astray from their faith? I can't really see. They look like males. 
Clifford bound in barbed wire and look like they've been somewhat burnt. But I can't really tell. It looks fucked up. What the hell was that? So you, you can tell Survivor. little things that are um, changing to her. I don't know how many humans I have slaughtered, but it's a lot. So this helicopter being here, that indicates to me that the helicopter was flying quite high before the storm hit and was hit it, heading to this direction before it landed and obviously crash landed here it looks physically intact the uh, obviously the propeller the blades are a bit damaged but it still looks intact which indicates to me that it had a decent landing yeah there's, it's unlikely that they would have just dragged this entire thing here No more painkillers. Sorry. So that guy was recent. Probably a second helicopter sent to rescue Lara. This will allow us to go pretty much anywhere in the game we want. I'm pretty sure we've got every uh, thing we need. This is kind of fucked up. She's doing this on enemy ground too, so she can't be loud. Fire arrows, okay. Uh, hit the select button to light the cigarette lighter at the end of the arrow, and which ignites it. Ross, can you hear me? Ross? Lara, are you okay? <sighs> I'm fine. You don't sound fine to me. I'm fine, Ross. Where are you, girl? I'm in some kind of shanty town near the fortified palace. I'm still coming down the hill. How did you get there so fast? Long story. I can see the town from here. Are you near that large gate? I'm heading towards it. It's the outside. Oh, shit. There. Fire, fire. Okay, so this is the end of the episode. Uh, so far, I'm really enjoying it. Now, we are still stuck in the damn storyline. Uh, the storyline will allow us to change. Basically, we have to rescue Sam, regroup with the others, and then after that, we have the option of continuing on with the storyline or uh, proceeding throughout the rest of the island and exploring optional tombs and uh, bases, camps, things like that. So it's really, really cool, and the game has finally opened up because a lot of the stuff we couldn't actually do until we had the... 
option of lighting our arrows. That is the game changer because there are some places that you need to do, uh, you know, fire arrows or the rope thing or um, you need the pick, uh, strength and pickaxe. So now we have finally got pretty much every uh, tool in the game. The rest is just simple upgrades. So this has been a real game changer now. Uh, the game is probably, the storyline at least, is 35% complete, I would guesstimate. Uh, but that is, is of course, the main storyline, uh, which, as you go along with the main storyline, you unlock more of the island. So we've only unlocked a small fraction of it, about a third, just over a third of the game, my guess is. But that's just stuck with the storyline. Once uh, we rescue Sam and find everyone, we can start exploring and traveling the island in our own, you know, on our own means. So uh, like, subscribe, and share if you haven't already. Leave a comment about the game, about me, about anything. I would love to hear from you guys. All right, YouTube, I shall catch you later.